Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's look at Rampant Premier Essentials 120 Drag and Drop Effects. You probably already know that I'm a huge fan of Rampant Design and they've come up with this amazing set of 120 drag and drop presets, transitions, visual effects, letterboxes, uh, frame effects, bumps and shake effects. They're all here, drag and drop, for only $29. It's ridiculous. It would take you much longer to actually put those presets together. So let's watch something here that I've uh, used some of those presets and put this together. Special thanks to Ronald Zwanemberg, Dutch digital dude, for uh, giving me this footage. So let's just go look at, at part of this and then I'll, I'll start recreating this. So the first effect, if you select the clip and go to the effects controls, you'll see what they've done is they've created presets and wonderfully named these so that later on you can remember what the heck it was that it was. So here is a magnify effect and they're calling it double exposure. When I turn that on and off, you can see it fades in and gives me this double exposure effect. The next one here is a quick look green wash. And we'll go through all of these in a second. But this is where things really get cool. Look, look at this. Wow, that is a lot of keyframe movement right there. So let me play that. And let's select that one. And that's the bump effect large on that one. And what I did here is I just cut this clip and put another effect right in the middle of that. And that effect is the bump effect large with blur. So you can see it bumps and it blurs as it goes up. Next one is the wobble large. Pretty cool. Next one, that was a bump in large. This is tint. And this is a strobe effect. So a lot of times people ask me about the flashing effect. Well, here you've got it. There's your strobe flashing effect. And on the end of this one, you'll see how this this is roll out to right. And you can see below that, you can see the clip below this. So if you look down here, you can see that I've actually taken this clip and dragged it above and dragged it longer. This gives me the effect that looks like the one clip is rolling into the next clip. You can't do that if there are two clips on the same track. 
as the one rolls out, you'll see the background, which would normally just be a black background. So if you bump that up to a new track and drag it out a little bit, then it rolls and it shows you the clip below it. And this one you'll notice is in the middle of the clip. So instead of putting it at the beginning, I actually moved the same keyframes, the bump effect large with blur part way through and just put that on the beat of the music. All right, let's go to the next one. And this is shake three times. And you see this is a little bit more subtle. See that little shake? All right, and then the next one is frame bounce with fast blur. You notice in the effects control that this actually requires two separate effects and they've conveniently named them the same thing. And so the, the result is this effect here. It looks like the frame is flipping up like an old vertical television. So this is actually, I've got two on this one clip. The first one is a zoom and bounce in. So you'll notice that this doesn't just zoom, it actually bounces. So instead of just a, a quick zoom, it's got that little mm, organic kind of motion going on. And then I ended this with a soft wipe out from the right. So as this starts to, to wipe out to the right, the clip below is panning to the right, and it just adds a nice treatment to that. Nothing on that one. Okay, so for these two, I've got two frame box left and two frame box right. So watch this. Boom. And then the next clip is box right and it fades back in. And then we've got this look here, our badass diva. This is frame bounce fast. You can see, again, this is another frame bounce fast. And then it's sideways. So this next one, you'll notice back in here, I've extended the clip so that it's actually happening before. This is like the other one too, that if you don't do this, if you don't overlap that particular effect, you'll get black below it. So just knock it up to another uh, track and drag it out. And this is the shuffle in from the right. You can see it's shuffling in with a blur multiple frames, and then continues on. All right, so let me go to a timeline with all of the same clips, but none of the effects on it. And I can start dragging and dropping. So let's go to our effects. And the easiest way is just to type in rampant, and now you can see all the rampant Premiere Essentials showing up. So there's a few bonus ones in here that give you a uh, diagonal cut. So these you drag and drop because they are presets and you can see there's a diagonal cut above to the right and to the left. So this would show another video behind this. So you would do this to something on uh, V2 on, on an, a track above. Dream blurs, drag this on and you'll get this blurry kind of feel. Uh, so those are the dream blurs. There's also vignettes, circular, circular two, oval, circular wide, soft. So let's just drag one of these over and we get that kind of an effect. And now we get into the bumps and the shakes. So something like the bump effect large, I'm going to put it on the beginning of this clip here. And you don't have to set a keyframe or mark an area here. Bar bump effect large. If I just drag it right onto the clip, you'll notice that the keyframes are, are attached to the beginning of this. So when I play this back, there's our effect. And right in the middle of this clip, this is all one clip, 
right at the drums. Right there. I'm going to hit the C key and cut this. So I'll put a cut in here and then I'll drag another one in here. Let's do bump in large on the second clip here. So now instead of it just being the same clip, it's just a little zoom right in that area. And I didn't have to mark a place and, and add keyframes. I just cut that, throw it in, cut another one, throw it in, dropping all of these in. And if you want, you can open this up. You can see all the keyframes. You can move the keyframes, change them, whatever you want. All right. This was the jitter and shake that I did on the uh, Panda. So if we do shake three times, drop it on, it has a It's a little bit subtle. Drop in a wobble large. There we go. There's our wobble large. Let's go back and look at the double exposure was the effect I added at the beginning. There's also some compressed videos. There's also grain, heavy, intense, low. So that's quick grain. A bunch of quick looks in here. Uh, there's a one here that I really like, that beautiful contrast. Drag that on. You can see this. Woo, that's a nice look. So this would be one that I would add an adjustment layer. So I've already created an adjustment layer. Drag this out. Back in my effects. Beautiful contrast, drag it on here, and now I've got this contrast look through the whole thing. And because that's an adjustment layer, I could change the opacity. I'm just going to turn that off for now, and we'll keep going. So those are some of the quick looks. Then there's uh, rampant fades and flashes. So fade to black, no blur. Uh, fade to black quick. How about let's do fade to black with blur. So this is going to fade. So this is now at the end. Whoa, see that? It fades and it blurs out. Okay. There's our strobe effects. Strobe slow. White flash. Let's put a strobe on the, on the beginning of this one. There you go. Nice stuff. White flash. A lot of cool things. And then some rampant frame effects where we can frame it box left box right this was the stuff that I was doing before where it frames it down there so it starts full screen and then fades back down um, frame bounce fast slice the bottom so now it's it's crop that top so we've got a slice in the bottom you would put this again on a second frame or second track and, and show something through on the other side there's also letterbox effects in here then there's a bunch of transitions now what's important here is that these are used as transitions but they're effects with presets so they're not a typical drop it in the middle of two clips like like premiere pro uh, uh, transitions so here's blur in from left so this is going to blur in from left. And you can see right there, that's the, the black background uh, showing up. So instead of doing it that way, if I put this on top of, so I'm holding the Alt key uh, option on Mac and, and dropping that up. And now when I apply this, blur in from left, it's going to blur in from the left and it's going to show the one at the bottom. So it's just, you drag that the head out if it's a beginning transition, because you can see transition in, so it's going to attach it to the beginning of the clip, and below that are transitions out. Uh, so you could do the same thing. You just need enough of the clip here. So same thing, I'll drag that up, drag that out, and then let's soft, uh, let's do stretch, move out to right. And now this is going to stretch and move out to the right. 
All right, there you go. 120 drag and drop effects from Rampant. Premier Essentials, I think, is essential to editors to have in their effects bin so that they can start to use these for any project they want. All right, hopefully you found this informative. If you're new to Video Revealed, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us a little more, join us over on Patreon for as little as one little dollar a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.